You guys, I've been on TikTok now since pretty much its beginning. I've really been enjoying TikTok. Not the beginning, beginning, when it was all teenage platform, but when it started to kind of cover all kinds of themes, there's education on it, there's inspiration on it. It's been really fun for Shree and I both at night. A lot of times we'll just show each other TikToks before we go to bed and have a good time. And Shree was a TikTok-sponsored uh, gardening instructor and still has a very active TikTok. I have a very minorly active TikTok that after this, I'm actually inspired to actually go after this platform more. But I want to talk to you today about uh, a new friend named Craig Brown, and he has a TikTok that's just, it's called Bible Time. It's been amazing to watch. And I've been watching him. There's something about him that has just drawn me in. And it, throughout the day, I'll like all of a sudden see one of his TikToks. Let's watch one right now, just so you can see. He's so inviting. So I didn't know anything about this dude. I just like him. I just, you know, follow him. And it, he helps me to think about the Bible in times I wouldn't be thinking about it. So here's one of them right here. So here we go. Here's the first one. It says, will you take 90 seconds for the Bible with me? Go here. Let's go. I'm Craig. This is Bible Time. Hey, if you want more daily hope from God's Word, hit that plus sign. And if this speaks to you, would you leave a comment and tag a friend? If not, it's all good. You can keep scrolling. But we're just going to read one passage. This is what Jesus says. Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. For to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. This is really interesting. To such to such belong. The kingdom of heaven belongs to people that are like this. Like what? Like little children. This is not the first time Jesus talks about little children. He talks about children all the time. He says, unless you come to me like a little child, you have no place with me. Children, they're just full of wonder. They're full of awe. They're full of faith. They don't ask all these questions and have all these pre um, notions and, and pains. And they just, they'll come to you and they'll love you. They'll embrace you. They'll welcome you. And Jesus says that this is what we have to be like when we come to Him. Because the kingdom of heaven belongs to those that will embrace Jesus by faith. Here I am just getting inspired by Him. And I heart the video. And then He comments to me, like in my private messages, and says, Hey, I have a story about you. The reason why I'm blown up on TikTok is a God story and you're part of it. And I thought... I never knew I'd even meet the guy. I follow a lot of Christians on TikTok that, I mean, there's no follow back, there's no connection because we're in different worlds. But somehow I was, you know, connected to Craig and I just thought that's really interesting. And so then he wrote back and said, I'm going to make a video about it. And so stay tuned. And so, you know, didn't think much of it. I just thought that's cool. Like, that's really cool because he really inspires me. I like to be um, encouraged by people who inspire you, right? And I don't know him, but I watch his videos. I feel like I know him because I watch him all the time. And then he puts on this video. What do you think about prophecy? Do you think it's real? Do you think it's fake? Do you think it's made up? This was a prophetic event. I recognize this. This was my event. He was on the stage with his wife. That my wife and I went to was Sean Bowles in Spokane in 2018. Before I was on YouTube, before I even knew what TikTok was. I don't even know if it was around back then. Listen to this prophetic word that he gave us. That there's an online presence in the media, training, equipping, preaching that God wants to bring whatever you're doing in the micro to the macro, and that he wants to use it, even just a few minutes of just like sharing a point or whatever, that he's training you or trained you or been trained, I don't know, it feels like it's already happening, but he wants to give you a model of, of how to create an infrastructure thing so that people can follow along and are just part of the local Idaho. I feel for both of you that he's given you guys a place to be um, seen and heard in a really broad way, not just in Idaho currently, because of the power of the internet media. Okay, so what, one of the things that's really cool about this part is that I never knew this is who this guy was. And I, I prophesied in that year specifically, 2018, I, I did 37 city tour and I would prophesy each time as a model because I wanted everybody to know you have access to be able to hear God's voice and prophesy. And so I would usually at the end, I would either bring up a team if I had a team or I would myself prophesy and model it. And so these are some of the people I picked out and what's wild is thinking about the fact that, realize this, you guys, when you're saying things to people, like I've now been feeding from this guy for a month, just every day, just watching his videos, just like really going deeper with God because he just pulls you in for 60 to 90 seconds. Like I said, just a few minute words or a few minute things you're going to do on the internet. And I've been feeding off of it and I prophesied it. I have no idea that I prophesied this and that I'm so impacted by it. And there's many things that we're called to be impacted by that won't exist if we don't sow faith into it. And so I wanna encourage you to sow faith, but let's keep listening. See, a lot of you probably don't. I just wanna let you know, if you don't, or you doubt it, or you're skeptical, I totally understand how you feel. I remember I felt that way. 
but God has totally opened up my heart and my 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 spirit to this very valid New Testament biblical gift in so many ways. I'll tell you some more some more stories another time, but this was amazing. I totally forgot about this word until like two weeks ago. I remembered that Sean Bowles said something about this because it, it didn't resonate then. It didn't make sense then. I wasn't doing anything online then. I wasn't, a, a, a few minute video wouldn't have made sense to me then. But now looking back with over a million followers on TikTok and Bible time on TikTok and on YouTube, TikTok 59 seconds to three minutes, YouTube 15 to 20 minute Bible lessons. It's crazy. This was a completely accurate word that at the time, maybe we didn't know what it meant. So man, I just wanna- I have to say this too, is that a lot of times you get words and you don't remember until later because you you did it in your own faith with God. You walked and followed God. It wasn't meant to encourage you towards it, but it was supposed to encourage you afterwards. Like Luke said, this is that. What Jesus is doing here is what, you know, the gospel of Luke is what this prophet prophesied here. So he encouraged us what God was doing in the context of what had been spoken prophetically. And that's exactly what happened to Craig Brown is that he remembers the word and God's confirming and affirming him saying, this is that I already planted inside of you. I love how the Bible says in Ephesians 2, I prepared good works for you before time began. And that's what Craig was feeling here. Like, like I'm doing what God planned for me. And he even gave me a, a hint and not, not, so, not so much of a hint because it was actually direct speech, but that I would be doing this. But he didn't allow me to remember until this moment. And it was an encouragement to him. And I love that. That's one of the functions of good prophecy. I encourage you. Prophecy is real. This word yes, it uh, is. was spot on and we didn't even know it. Sean Bowles is one of the greatest uh, words of knowledge and prophets of our time. And I just got to say this, his book, Translating God, is one <laughs> of the best He's books out there the book. right now on practical prophetic gifting for today. The heart of it, that it's not about a platform and a show, it's about yeah. in encouraging yeah. people. And so, man, I just want to encourage you, check out Sean, I'll tag him below. Check out his book. He's got some other ones as well. And believe in God's prophetic gift because it's so meant to encourage people and build people up. When you know that God is winking at you and sees you specifically, it changes everything. So I hope that that blesses you and encourages you like it encouraged me. Oh my gosh, you guys need to follow Craig Brown. You need to follow him and see what's going on in his world because I just love his teaching. I love his teaching style. He's you know, speaks to everybody and speaks to you at the same time. And even how he invites everybody and specifically on TikTok, YouTube is a little different, but it's so awesome. But on TikTok, he'll invite you and like, kind of like, what are you doing? Want to spend time with me? And it's just been so cool. But I love this also because TikTok is a platform that has everything on it. It has everything from all the agendas you don't want your children to see, all the music in the whole world, you know, everything you think of to really fun, creative projects and educational stuff and now now there's a lot of christians who are just populating with an amazing content i don't know for me it's just been a place where i throw up a video here and there just because of family or something that happens with the dogs or something or just for fun because for me it's been mostly fun but ever since i've been watching craig i'm like this is such a powerful platform like i want to see what god could do through this platform and then he posted this and something inside of me came alive and i was like more Christians need to head towards this platform and encourage each other and help each other. And also for the masses, because so many people are watching TikTok that would never watch even television nowadays. So they're not going to see Christian television. They're not going to listen to a Christian song. They're not ever going to go to church, but they're on TikTok. And somehow one of their friends might share something or tag you or do something. And all of a sudden they're watching, you know, who you are sharing your voice. I know one of our team, Wesley, who... She does children's ministry for kids who are at risk here in the city and has for years in LA. And it was so cool because Wesley decided to go on TikTok and I, I should ask her her entire story. I know she's told me a little bit of it, but she decided to just kind of respond to people and just be interactive and, and answer people's questions about God. And especially when it comes to like paganism or witchcraft or warfare or the prophetic or the gifts of spirit or any of these things, both good and bad, she'll answer questions as Mormonism, Christianity, all these kinds of things. And she'll just give these like 30 seconds to two, three minute clips of answers that are biblically based. She has a Bible school degree and she's been phenomenal. She's like going after stuff. And because of that, she's blown up on TikTok too. Not quite a million and a half or a million, 100,000 people, but she's blown up and it's become part of a ministry that she knew she was supposed to be a voice greater than just the local group she does with children at risk. 
but she didn't know how she'd ever get there. She had this thing inside of her of like, I know God's made me for some more and I love what I'm doing, but there's something else he keeps prophesying or hinting about. And this is one of the first big installments where the Lord's like, hey, I'm going to blow something up on you that you could not do for yourself. And I think God's about to put a lot of people who would never have a platform in a traditional way and he's going to give them platforms. And I just love that so much. And I love what Craig did here. You never know, like, you know, Craig Brown, how he's been leading me in scriptural devotionals for the last month. You never know who you're influencing. You never know who is watching your stuff. You never know how it's impacting them. And so do what God's put in your heart. Go after the platforms. You know, I, one of my other friends, just as a, a finishing to this, is she's one of the top marketers right now on Facebook. And she has been listed in Forbes as one of the top marketers. And I remember she called me and said, God told me I'm giving you the mountaintop of Facebook as a community. Just like some pastors go, I have the, this city is my city or some missionaries say, this is my people tribe group. Or some people say, this is the industry I'm called to. God spoke to her and said, you are called to Facebook to build community, to speak into people's lives there. And she's done these incredible seminars. She has over a million followers, actually I think two million now. And she's done these incredible seminars. And at the end, she'll share pieces of her faith that's so relatable and so practical that people ask her for more. So she's done spiritual emphasis, free classes, and these kinds of things to share her faith. It's been so cool. And I just, I'm so inspired by that. Like, God, give Christians the mountaintop of influence in social media and in, in all these new formats that are coming out. So excited, so excited for Craig Brown. And I just want to share it with you.